The Democratic National Convention wrapping up with a message from presidential nominee Joe Biden. Our Verify team has been fact checking the speaker statements from the entire night. Here's our Jason Puckett. The DNC wrapped up with Joe Biden, but we also heard from Cory Booker, Pete Buttigieg, Andrew Yang, and more. Let's start with a claim from Michigan Secretary of State Jocelyn Benson. And let's be clear, there is absolutely zero difference between voting by mail and voting absentee. It is true that absentee and mail-in ballots are the same once they're in the mail, but there is a difference in how they're requested. According to the National Conference of State Legislatures, absentee ballots are only sent to voters who personally request them. But states that use mail-in ballots, sometimes called all-mail voting, automatically send ballots to all registered voters, whether they request one or not. Next, a claim from Senator Cory Booker. 40 million Americans are at risk of losing their homes. According to the Aspen Institute, a nonpartisan nonprofit, this is true. They published this report, compiling data from the U.S. Census Bureau. They found that, quote, an estimated 30 to 40 million people in America could be at risk of eviction in the next several months. Booker referenced the highest number in this report. And finally, a claim from Joe Biden. More than 50 million people have filed for unemployment this year. More than 10 million people are going to lose their health insurance this year. Nearly one in six small businesses have closed this year. Let's break these down. The Department of Labor shows there have been more than 57 million unemployment claims since March. First part true. A report by the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation did estimate that more than 10 million people will lose health insurance as a result of losing their jobs during the pandemic. Second part true. And the last claim is slightly off. Biden said one in six businesses have closed this year. The U.S. Chamber of Commerce found that one in five businesses had temporarily closed by June of this year, and only 1% of businesses had closed permanently. We've got more claims from all four nights of the DNC up on our website. And if you have something you want us to check out, send us an email. With your Verify, I'm Jason Puckett.